I'm Jay Calvert, and I'm a plastic surgeon in Beverly Hills. I first went to undergraduate at Vanderbilt University in Nashville, Tennessee. There I studied molecular biology, and I did a lot of DNA sequencing and protein isolation uh, as part of my undergraduate. I then went on to Cornell Medical School in New York City, where I really got interested in plastic surgery. And I was fortunate to be accepted into the University of Pittsburgh Combined Plastic Surgery and General Surgery program, where I trained for seven years total, which included two years of research. Uh, I actually obtained a faculty position at Carnegie Mellon University in the Robotics Institute while I was there. Uh, so my training was extensive. Uh, it gave way to my first faculty job as a, uh, at the University of California, Irvine, where I was an assistant professor of clinical surgery. Um, after that, I decided that I wanted to have my own place, and that's when I was able to come to the Roxbury Clinic and Surgery Center, which has now become the Rock Center, and I've been here ever since 2005. Being a plastic surgeon, you're going to look for very specific credentials. First of all, you want to see that the, that the doctor trained in plastic surgery. Uh, it's amazing how many people are practicing plastic surgery who never had any specialized training in plastic surgery. Uh, just one statistic I heard, and uh, it it's, it's means that the chances are that if you're going for plastic surgery, you've got to really look closely. But there are 30,000 doctors practicing plastic surgery in the United States, but there are only 7,000, uh, around 7,000 board certified plastic surgeons. So it's not that those doctors can't practice plastic surgery, they certainly can, but they didn't do the training of the American Board of Plastic Surgery. Again, it's, it's not a question of whether or not they can do it, they certainly can. But I think that you, you're going to stack the cards in your favor by finding somebody who is board certified in plastic surgery. It's interesting because plastic surgery is a, uh, it's a field where the results are always a compromise. If you think about it, you're trading incisions and cuts and surgical time in the operating room to try to enhance or make better something that uh, you, you need repaired or that you want to look better. And there are complications with surgery. That's reality. And anybody who does enough surgery has complications and has to take care of them. And that's really where the rubber meets the road in who you choose for your surgery. Uh, if things go right, then your surgeon's a genius. It's when they don't go right, which happens in a percentage of time for every different type of operation, that's where you see what kind of a doctor you really have. And that's where the training and credentials and the ability to, to take care of problems makes the difference in what your outcome is ultimately going to be.